Hey guys, I'm building these Toyota dual transfer cases right now. I figured it would be a good time to go over how they work. To make explaining this a little bit easier, I'm going to remove the crawl box from the rear reduction unit. So now that we have a plain transfer case, let's jump into it. Toyota transfer cases are made up of a reduction unit and a four wheel drive section. With dual transfer cases, you are just adding another reduction unit to the existing transfer case. This is called a crawl box and it's mounted to your existing transfer case with an adapter plate. Let's go over crawl ratio real quick before going any further. The stock crawl ratio of a four cylinder Toyota pickup with a manual transmission is about 37 to one. This means that in four low, your engine will rotate 37 times before the tire makes one full turn. This is calculated by multiplying the first gear ratio by the crawl box gearing, by the transfer case gearing, by your ring and pinion. The lower the ratio, the slower the truck will move, which will give you more torque and more control. There are more in-depth videos on crawl ratio floating around YouTube and the internet, but for the sake of simplicity, that's as much as we'll dive into it here. In the standard configuration, you have one transfer case. This limits you to your gearing options because you are restricted to whatever low range gear is installed in your transfer case, whether it be a factory 228 or an aftermarket 470. With 470 gears, you'd have a much lower crawl ratio, but you'd lose versatility by being locked into such a low gear. So then came along dual cases to save the day. So here's where dual transfer cases shine. With dual transfer cases, you can use 228 gears in both reduction units, or you can use a 228 gear and a 47, like what we're using here, which will net you a much lower crawl ratio. And you can use the factory low gear by itself, your 4.7 gear by itself, or you can go into double low, which engages both the 228 gear and the 47 gear. So basically we have a lot of options here. You can see we also have a trail gear twin stick set up here, which allows us to switch from two wheel drive to four wheel drive while in low gearing. So right now we're in high, high. So this thing would just drive down the street like normal. You can see it's one to one. However, if we wanted to put this into factory 228 low gear, all we have to do is move our shifter forward. And now we're in factory low range but let's say that we wanted to approach something a little bit slower and only use the four seven gear. We can do that too. You can see the reduction there compared to that. Now let's say that we wanted to climb up a skyscraper, right? We could put this thing into low, low. So now this one's in low, we're doubling this two, two, eight and the four seventy. Now we have an insane gear reduction going on that we would never be able to achieve with a single transfer case. We're not even in four wheel drive yet. We could put this thing into four wheel drive now. So this gearing with both transfer cases in low, a 228 in the crawl box or the front reduction unit, a 47 in the rear reduction unit, a 3.95 first gear ratio from a W56, and assuming that we're using factory Toyota ring and pinion of 410, which came with the truck, we have a final crawl ratio of 173 to one, which is 129% lower than stock. In other words, in first gear with 35 inch tires, you'd only be traveling at half a mile an hour at idle. You could get even lower by changing the ring and pinion. So as you can see, dual transfer cases give you the ability to crawl at a much lower controlled speed, reduce the chance of breaking parts due to slower approach and less bouncing on terrain, and the option to switch between 15 different gear combinations, not including reverse. Well, I hope that was helpful. Happy wheeling, guys.